out to everybody with family-run businesses. For those who know how gruesome and horrible blue-collar work can be. This song is for you. And I want to share my story. Well, this is the life of a cleaner's kid. Living mediocre with a family biz. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. Homie, this is the life of a cleaner's kid. Forget about sabbaticals or family trips. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. Man, I know about the long hours and the times they were put in. 12 was a minimum, the meager pay was killing them. Neighborhood wasn't feeling them, arthritis was creeping in. Blue collar work really wasn't a thrilling gig. But they kept at it, barely stayed static. With a resolve to get nice with the pragmatics. So they tussled, working every muscle to know the ins and outs of the dry cleaning hustle, lugging buckets of carts. With a tiny, get large, your dirty clothes from 30 year olds yapping and driving them off. They dealt with the worst of them, but still had a smile on. Up charging for silk when the blouse was really not loud. I was told to never burn your bridges. Hold your tongue when they shun you for your slanted eyes. Slander in your yellow kind of felt it every day. Doing business in the ghetto. Telling the young James to observe and take a memo. It's the life of a cleaner's kid. Living mediocre with a family biz. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. Homie, this is the life of a cleaner's kid. Forget about sabbaticals or family trips. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. No, ain't no, ain't no summer like a dry cleaning summer. Mama stays skinny and she never was a runner. To me, strongest lady, maybe the woman's crazy. I mean, it could be 180 degrees because of steam, but never did she break down. Always had a great smile, friggin' loud. Singing hymns, God fearing, innocent. She's an example of a hard working immigrant. She came across a bra, my pops to make a dividend. Now here it is, me and my mom sweating while setting the sweaters on mechanical lines with clean skirts, shirts, bras down to the underwear. Lunchtime, I'm without the kimchi in the Tupperware. Best lunch ever. Wash her hands to go back to work. She be on the presser. I go back to my bag of shirts when customers came. Clean as kid is what they label us. Grew up with the twisted ties, reloaded my stable. Oh, it's a life click, of click. a kid. Living mediocre with a family biz. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. Homie, this is the life of a cleaner's kid. Forget about sabbaticals or family trips. We gotta stay grinding, say goodbye to weekends. Cause you're helping at the shop, no retreating. I know how it feels to see your parents laughed at. Tripping over the words why folks applied laugh tracks. Wanting to defend them against the spewing venom. But realize that kindness was truly the greatest weapon. I saw strength in their meekness, valor in their mannerisms. Where they ended deep end, they're worth beating cheap end. I witnessed countless amounts, bitter accounts. Wondering expressions under their mouth That they miss out on living the real dream American built That they mistake silk for gold Was it a kill? Painted on a bunch of rocks Oh my gosh, what a rock good, Jim Immigrants stayed Paving legacies of pain With perseverance never fade My father, a master with the iron Killing stains Mixing solve and solving problems With my mother as a team She was the smartest Plus impressive with the same This is the life of a greenest kid Living mediocre with a family base We gotta stay grinding Say goodbye to weekends Cause you're helping at the shop No retreat
recently the evil's just a tool of the ego And where we go, well it comes to Peeping through the keyhole, it be trying to find what you Need in order to be safe or still avoiding truth Well, if we face our fakeries, we'll find that all is bliss But if we never take a shot, I guess we'll never miss Problems that we face are problems that we cause And if the truth be told, the heaven's door is hiding in the soul Save yourself, What's up, fam? It is Monday. Today, we were quite productive. Didn't wake up the earliest, but we were quite productive. My, that one, this one lash is really making me very insecure. I have a lash appointment this week, so we'll be good. Also, look who, not them ruining the frog again. But if you can quite tell, if you've been watching for a while, I kind of moved the living room just around just a bit. So the couch used to be this way, but so I put it in the middle. Put the rug here, made it all nice. See them? <laughs> yeah, so they're like playing with this rug, but it's okay. And now our living room, I might have to do something about this, but our little spot is right here. So it's perfect when I sit. Not only can I like probably work, but then I can also have like a projector up here at the same time instead of looking sideways the whole time. Then I just moved the mats here next to the mirror, added the lamp that was over there. I put it over here because I realized I don't have any light over here. I have that light up there to like brighten around this corner, but I didn't have any light in this corner. So that's why I put the lamp there. Had to redo the star for the 10th time. And yeah, that's pretty much what we did. So we have like a little walking through here. I wish this was smaller and a little less wide. E, but towers pretty it's still pretty okay here i feel like i should just switch it with the chair but i don't have no idea we're gonna play it out as it goes somebody's gotta take a shower because i feel gross i Happy birthday Aww. to you. The week is gone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Aww. Biggest excuse. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy of thieves she won't ever be caught by nobody she'll run all the way to eternity i wish i had known all of this before i wish i had known but at least now i know 
This is my man's book, but I wanted to read us a little bit of it to see what he's reading. Oh, there's a lot of photos in here too. Aww. <laughs> I'll educate my soul, take a stroll on my own too Symbiotic conversation road, have you rolled through? All oh, roots, realign the mode that I've grown through No news here without agenda, should I fold too? If I can't see, so I can climb that ladder Imprisoned by design within the social seated chatter What I find, I lose the brakes, that confuse with all the takes Seems it's time we find some unity until we see a change Right here I'll redefine Ways to try to find some peace of mind Here with nobody, just me, myself and I Sit back, relax, recline Find a new pathway to my mind Here with nobody Just me, myself and I Shells on the seashore road What we find declines Driven by sorrow What he finds in the blunt She finds when she's drunk Some find in communication With the chosen one Reading my screen And the slow dividing Got me wondering If this is all for polarizing I divide and conquer Time and time again If history repeats itself I wonder where we end Right here I'll redefine Ways to try to find Some peace of mind Here with nobody Just me, myself and I Sit back, relax, recline Find a new pathway to my mind Here with nobody Just me, myself and I Okay guys, that is the end of today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it Finally, low-key almost getting back on track Even though this was a late evening start But, you know what, at least I'm happy That we managed to be pretty productive Even waking up late today I have a couple Oh, that one on my boob I have a couple of, of vlogs That I already planned for this week That are a lot more festive So, hopefully we can get on that Tomorrow I do really do I do really do Can I talk? I do really need a recharging after this very hectic stressful weekend so it's very well needed for me to have a recharge slow morning tomorrow because your girl really needs it i've been working really hard and very painfully bad so that's gonna be it for today's productive evening vlog i hope to see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas i took my melatonin so that I can knock out early right now so that I can wake up and I can edit today's vlog and that'll be it for my huge slump so hope to see you guys tomorrow and just know that if you're going through a hard time whether it's with work, school, college, family, friends, yourself, anything just know that even though I, it's hard for me to tell myself this but that times do get hard and it's very easy said than done when people be telling you that it'll get easier, don't worry, it's gonna get better oh, I understand how you feel like yeah, yeah sometimes advice does help but I feel like the, the misunderstanding concept of people trying to give you advice to make you feel better after having a shitty day is that they really don't understand how shitty your day is because they didn't live your day in your mind and your body oh my god this light <laughs> sensor and in your soul or in your shoes so they wouldn't really understand but they somewhat would but it's the it's the lack of the same day experience i don't think i'm explaining this right but just basically if you're having a rough day and <laughs> All right, if you're having a rough day and you feel like you can't get over it, just know that you probably can't and that's okay. It's, you don't have to get over bad days in order for you to overcome that bad day. What makes you overcome that bad day is by really giving yourself that pep talk that you need because I really needed that pep talk. I feel like I've been getting pep talks by everybody else, which I did need it and I did appreciate, trust me. But I feel like I did not give myself that pep talk that I'd be giving y'all as a pep talk. Like what I'd like to preach to you guys I don't do it to myself as much as I should and it piss and it really makes me sad I was gonna say it pisses me off, but 
you know what i'm not gonna lie it does piss me off it pisses me off that i feel so hypocritical that i'd be talking to y'all about how to manifest how to love yourself how to never overwork yourself and then how to talk to yourself that everything's gonna be okay but yeah i'm over here like doing the complete opposite and yes i piss myself off so i seriously need to take better care of myself the past four days have been really giving me like five steps backwards and i'm not gonna blame it on the traveling it's just me it's my mind it's how i feel it's it's just me y'all i'm gonna head to bed and hopefully we can do better tomorrow i love you guys as always happy vlogmas and i hope you guys are enjoying december just as much as i am and if you are not trust me let's hold hands and let's get through this together please i would love to just go on this journey with y'all and it'll make me feel a lot more connected to you guys if we're going through hard times together and if we're not going through hard times together and you're living your best life i'm so happy for you oh, good night just be myself and I.